Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I have a budget deck, and when I say budget, I mean no legendaries, no rares. A true budget deck, you could buy it for five or less dollars, maybe ten or less dollars on TCG Player, probably five or less. I mean, it is cheap. You could ask your friend who has two boxes for all the cards in this deck, they could probably help you out. Uh, it is a budget deck through and through. And beyond this video, there is also an article about this deck on Deploy Your Leader Gaming. So if you guys need singles or if you guys need anything else, go to Deploy Your Leader Gaming and uh, read my article. And then also buy yourself some singles or some sweet treats over there. Uh, and thank you to Brian at Deploy Your Leader Gaming for letting me uh, write an article for his site and him hosting the article there. I think it's uh, an awesome thing to be writing again. I'm, I used to write a lot for Legends of Runeterra, so I'm excited to be writing a little bit. So I'm going to give you a little breakdown of what I thought going into this deck vocally. And then if you want to read my written words, feel free. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. Uh, but let's scroll down a bit here and let's go over the deck. So we have IG-88 Command Budget Deck. It is using IG-88 and just the Command Center because, again, ECL is a rare. This is a budget deck. But if you're interested, you can stay a little bit later into the video and a little later into the article. And I will upgrade this deck with uh, rare. So, But let's see. We have uh, for one drops, we're going aggressive. We're just trying to be an aggro deck with IG-88. He's a 5-4. He gives his friends raid 1. Let's go. Let's attack. Let's be aggressive. So we have... The Stormtrooper, Two Tubes, the TIE Fighter, they're all our one-drops. We're running a ton of one-drops. Then we also have Tactical Advantage for just a little bit extra stats to push through for some kills. So we have some early aggression, uh, and we have red cards out the wazoo. So, of course, we're going to use Two Tubes. You get to the two drops, and we add in the First Legion Stormtrooper and the Partisan Insurgent, who, again, synergizes with more red cards, which is what we're doing. We're trying to swing for the fences here uh, and go early and fast. Then we move to three drop. We have the fifth brother, the uh, the ardent investigator, I believe his name is, and the uh, star wing scout, who is a four one ship. When defeated, if you have the initiative, draw some cards. And the point of that is, again, we're trying to be fast. We want to just we're swinging at the base. Our things are going to probably die as they attack our things. So hopefully we can claim consistently, have initiative, get some extra card draw. Fifth Brother is just an aggressive card who can help with some extra damage, and the Ardent, while having initiative, we get plus two attack. So we are going to be swinging fast and hard. Then we add in a little bit of removal with open fire to kill any of those pesky sentinels that are in our way, and of course, the Imperial Interceptor here as a spaceship for a 3-2 when played deal three damage to a space unit. That costs four, but it's, uh, it's a very key card for aggro decks if they have something in space that's blocking our way for extra damage, or... They just have something in space that is consistently restoring their base, like the uh, Arc Fighter, I believe it's called, from the blue hero card. Then we kind of get into some interesting synergy, which I'll kind of dive more into as we move into the upgraded version of this deck. But we're kind of going to focus here at the top end on the Overwhelm keyword. So we got the Wampa, we've got the Battalion, we got the Mercenary Company, and the ATSD. So they all have uh, Overwhelm, and the Mercenary Company also has Ambush. So even if we're going to be attacking units, we want to be blowing damage through those units to the base. Because again, we're an aggro deck, and I understand sometimes you do have to attack units as an aggro deck if they have Sentinel, if they're restoring things, etc. But if we're going to be attacking those, I also want to be dealing damage to the base. So that's the plan here. The Steadfast Battalion lets you give plus two, plus two to another unit if you have a leader. Now IG-88 is not always going to stick on the board. He only has four health. But it's still a solid card to have out there with Overwhelm as a 5-5. And if you can get one attack while you have a leader, I still think it's worth it. Mercenary Company has Ambush as well. So that drops and swings 5-5 five, five uh, Overwhelm, which is really good. So you can immediately, on turn 6, play that card and deal damage to the base. And then the ATSD, of course, just 6-7, big thick body at the end for additional damage. Then to round out the deck, we're using a 2 TIE Advance, which is just another spaceship that can give Imperial units plus 1, plus 1 to experience tokens. And we have plenty of options for Imperial units here. And then, of course, one of the most broken cards in the game, Overwhelming Barrage, which will give one of our units plus two, plus two, and allow us to distribute their power uh, as damage anywhere across the board. Which, again, is good for clearing out those pesky sentinels that we keep mentioning, but also just clearing out key targets. Uh, and also, if you're giving a unit plus two damage, it eventually will be attacking the base. So that's how we're going to play as an aggro-style deck. Uh, if you want to take this into uh, competitive play, obviously people who are souped up with their best decks, this probably won't stand a huge chance. But it will compete with pretty mid-level decks. Uh, it's actually pretty solid. It runs, like I said, on the aggressive side. It's nothing super fancy here. You're just trying to swing heavy damage. 
and uh, mainly just trying to get some damage through to the base. That's what you want to do. You want to use Overwhelm. You want to use an early aggression drop uh, game plan with a lot of red cards early and swing through. But I'm kind of a guy who likes to jank things up a little bit. So this deck came to me as an idea with rares in it. And I noticed, hey, it doesn't actually have that many rares. Let me make a budget version of this same deck. So then I can, uh, you know, give people a, an option to really get into this game at, at the cheapest possible level. But if they want to upgrade it and kind of make it a little janky, they can. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit more in this article that feel free, please, please read. Uh, and we're going to introduce some rares. So let's talk about some of the rares we're introducing. I'm not going to go through the exact deck choices of what I've dropped and everything, but I want to talk about some of the rares. So first up is ECL. Energy Conversion Lab is a uh, base that has 25 health, but has an epic action. Play a unit that costs 6 or less from your hand and give it Ambush. So, lots of good targets for this, right? We have the Steadfast Battalion is clearly the best target for this because he has Overwhelm and on a, and, eh, and an On Attack ability. So, giving him Ambush will allow you to trigger that On Attack ability. You just need to have IG-88 alive when you do that. If you do have IG-88 alive and it's your action and you haven't used this epic action and you have Steadfast Battalion, do it. Uh, that's what you want to do. You want to give it ambush, let it ram into another opposing unit, deal its damage, overwhelm to the base, and then give your IG-88 plus two attack, essentially, is what you want to do. Really, really big turn five, turn six play. Uh, and you can do that because IG-88 comes out on turn five, which is great. Second option is you just want to drop the ATST with it or drop the Wampa with it, right? Just give something with overwhelm ambush. I mean, that, that's the that's the jank that I've I've thought of, and it's not that janky. I think a lot of people have thought of this. But you're essentially giving something Overwhelm, Ambush, and it can immediately, at, on play, attack and deal damage to the base, which is at, at a top end of a aggro deck is really solid. Uh, I think the jank more comes in from the Frontline Shuttle. I'm using two of them here. That card is a very, very weird card. I can scroll up here. We can read that. Frontline Shuttle is a 2-drop, 1-3 action doesn't require you to exhaust it, it just says defeat this unit, so you can do it even if it's exhausted the turn you play it, which is key for this deck. Uh, attack with a unit, even if, it's ex uh, even if it's exhausted, it can't attack bases for this attack. So you can't attack bases, so you can't really deal damage to the enemy base, unless you have Overwhelm. In which case, you can deal damage to the enemy base, because you'll be attacking a unit, dealing all the excess damage to that base. So this card is utilized uh, late game. You don't want to play it early, you want to play it late, and essentially have him just sit in space for a second, blow himself up, and then attack with the ATSD again. Or blow himself up and attack with the battalion again to give that plus two, plus two everywhere, or to another unit if you have IG-88 alive still, and also have Overwhelm, etc. So this card is really janky, but really, really good as a finisher. But we have plenty of early drops, as you see in our deck. So you don't want to play this early. You want to save this for late in the game, and it's a good finishing card with all your Overwhelm shenanigans. That's the main part. The other two rares here I added are Wolf, who's just a saboteur, gets around Sentinels. He's a 3-2, two, 2 drop, and when played and on attack, bases can't be healed. We don't care about healing bases. Our opponent hopefully does care, uh, and we will not allow them to do that, so Wolf's a great card. And then I'm throwing in Agent Callus as well, because I really like the ambush keyword in this deck. I want to be playing something, and it having an immediate effect on the board is my plan. That is a 5-drop 4-4 four, four ambush card, and when another or unique unit is defeated, you may draw a card. Use this ability only once each round. Now, we don't have a ton of unique units in this deck. We have uh, Wolf, Fifth Brother, IG-88, and Agent Callus, and he doesn't count for himself. So this is we're going to rely on kind of killing opposing uh, unique units, but we do need some additional card draw. We're running a really low curve deck, so extra card draw really helps. So that's the deck, guys. It's a little bit jankier once you get to this version of it. Uh, it's got some really weird play patterns with what you want to do with the Frontline Shuttle, with Callus, with Energy Conversion Lab. But it's really, really fun. Uh, all about just kind of aggression, swinging at bases. And anytime they play a unit, we're trying to blow right through that unit with an Ambush Overwhelm unit on our own. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this, please leave a subscription to the channel. And please also check out this art article. And thanks again to Brian at Deployer Leader. Dot com. Uh, he's letting me write some articles there, and I'm super excited to be writing content again for another card game. So check that out. The link's in the description below. Keep swinging.